So how come you get a day off school, you know, cos I want a day off too? Too bad. Don't work too bad now. Yeah. Where's your dad today? You tell me. Went to the pub last night and didn't come back. So we've got the place to ourselves then, have we? Unless you expected anyone else. Like who? I don't know. I thought perfect Katie might be calling round again. You are jealous of her, aren't you? I've told you I'm not. Yeah? He must be ill then. Keep on a funny shade of green. I don't know. I'm drinking at this time in the morning. Actually, I might join you. I could do with a bevy myself. Do you have to? Last thing I need is you going on about your boyfriend problems again. Yeah, well, I won't be going on about my boyfriend problems anymore because I haven't got one. What's the matter with you, anyway? I'm tired, hungover. I just want out of the dog in peace before I go home and have a kip. Have you been out on the rest all night? What about Debbie? Well, she's a bit young for clubbing. Well, you can't be going out all night, leaving her on her own. Yeah, well, I made mean, sure Dad's and Andy were around. Oh, well, aren't you the caring father? Why don't you just give it a rest? Or go and nag your boyfriend? Well, you can't, cos he's dumped you. Oi, I am just trying to look out for my niece. Yeah, well, there's no need. Debbie's my business, all right? So why do you always call her perfect, Katie? She is perfect, isn't she? I'd give anything to that pretty. You're just as pretty as her. You're the one who's perfect. What are you doing? You better not be skiving. No, I've got a study day. All right, what's one of them? I thought that was pretty obvious. It's a day where you study. Well, turn that off. And don't get cheeky, right? It's not like I've never caught you skiving before. No, well, you know I don't do that anymore. I don't know what you get up to when I'm not here. Well, you should try being here a bit more often, though. Debbie, don't. I'm not in the mood. Just turn that off. What are you going to do if I don't? Oh, well, Debbie, what is it that for? None of your business. Yeah, it is my business. I don't like you treating Debbie like that when it's in my house. Right, and what are you going to do about it? Yeah, I didn't think so. It's a shame we had to miss gymnastics tonight. Can't do it without your kit. I know. Only, I seem to remember that you had two gym kits. It's funny how both of them were dirty, eh? Debbie? You gave me a fright then. What are you doing hiding out here? I'm not hiding, Katie. I live here. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. And now I'm cleaning up, thank you, if you don't mind. What's wrong with her? No idea. Well, why won't you tell me who it is then? <sighs> because it's none of your business and it's over now anyway. Look, it's been over for a long time, Andy. You're unbelievable. This isn't about us. Well, who is it about then? <sighs> Debbie. It's about Debbie. Debbie who? Oh, my God, Debbie Dingle. <laughs> yes, Andy, what are you playing at? She's older than what you and we first got together. Well, I'm just glad you've seen sense and called it off. Are you bothered that I've moved on from you? No, I'm bothered that her dad is Kane Dingle. You best not stay well away. What if I don't want to stay away? What if I want her back? What, Andy? He's a psycho. He could kill you. I don't care. I'm sick of worrying about Kane Dingle when I should be concentrating on Debbie. I want to be with her, no matter what it takes. <laughs>